Well, I didn't know I was going to, like, I guess I should have put it on my account. So see, I mean, like, if you, if you go to the main YouTube account, I don't understand. Where do even people, people see that? Are you guys hiring? Where are you from, Eric? Yeah, so I don't understand. Like, so if you're, if someone subscribed to you, right? How did they get notified or where do they see that you're streaming live? See, like, I'm subscribed to your account. I don't see... Did I get an email? Oh, dude, Eric is in Rancho Cucamonga, so there you go. What? There's people in Rancho Cucamonga? Ask him if he's a, a fan or if he's just... Or if he's just a random guy from YouTube. How come you're following... Oh, he clicked on Twitter, so I went out on Twitter. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, okay. I get it. <laughs> Twitter. It's kind of a it's kind of a big delay, so I wonder how long it takes. Wait, it went out on Twitter. So if it went out on Twitter, that means they follow you on on Twitter. Oh. So they follow. So you guys. So you guys are following the Jag Thirty Five account. I saw it on my subscription feed. Oh, so it goes out to all these different people. Well, it goes out through Twitter. And then it goes out to the subscribers, right? Right? Is that what's going on? I wonder if like, but it's not an email that goes out. No. It's just on people's feed. So if they happen to be on YouTube right now, which you know, not a lot of people are checking out for YouTube. This is Jay over here in his computer. Yeah. Hey. What's up? Oh, so I'm in my account. I guess I'm not gonna get notified notified that I'm. Live. I know. That's why I was gonna check. I think I'm on like all the. Uh... <laughs> I was gonna check. Them. So yeah. see, like, what's the fee? I don't know. How do people? It's like, what do they? I'm gonna change the lights. Oh look, there it is. Live streams. Live mm. now. It's six people. Better? Look, that's the way it shows up. I don't know why it's twice. There's two of them. So, there's six people watching. Should we explain some stuff that we shot last this week? Sure. So this is, uh... Oh man, I don't want to touch those things. This is one of our batteries. And this is a new device that, I don't know, hasn't, it's not out yet, right? Or it's coming out later this week or it's something. Coming up, it's coming out at IBC in uh, the UK. Teradek is, is going to release it out there. Sorry, these chats are being sent twice, each one. What? The chats. How? Maybe because there's there's two streams, like you know that's why it's up there. Like, in... is there two different places that this is streaming on, or 
I don't know how this works. Maybe because it's on beta. This stream is offline. What did it say though? Where? No, it's not obviously. It, I don't know why it says that. But that's not the event. It's this event. So I made this rig so I can put my camera and this thing so we can stream out more steady. Because as you can see, it's kind of a look. Great HD stream even here in Europe. What? People are watching in Europe? Oh man, let me clean this lens then. <laughs> you gotta look good for those Europeans. Hey man, Americans count too. Ah. <laughs> hey Europeans, uh, it's, what, what time is it right now? I don't know. It's like 11 p.m. here and we're still in the office. Hey, guess what? It's 11, 11 right now. 11, 11. Uh, that's a, you know. We should be going home and spending time with our families, but. <laughs> but we're. Uh... What camera is this? So that camera is the GH4. It's our favorite camera. Oh, it's it's a... the... oh, it is. Uh... <laughs> yeah. So we've been actually shooting a lot on this camera. So here's what it looks like from the other side, because we actually have two of them. Yeah. And this is on a speed booster, a Metabone speed booster with the Canon glass. Yeah, we've been enjoying this camera a lot. It's cheap. And um, it shoots very good quality. You can shoot 4K on this guy. All right. Look at this rig. So now we can shoot. Oh, there's uh, Austin's creations. It's from Canada. It's 2 a.m. for him. Oh, <laughs> man. Wow, you should really go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Just before I go to work. Tom. So it's, it's morning for him. Yeah, we actually have a pretty good uh, connection. We, we actually have a pretty good uh internet connection here that it allows us to stream in 1080 uh, go right you know wirelessly through this Terabit video 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 pro video video pro so I guess that product is already out but uh, this is the new this is the pro version that's coming out next week or yeah next week at IBC in Europe everyone out there will be able to go and check it out and um, it's been great. We actually used it on a shoot just recently, last week, where we were streaming to uh, at the Musicians Institute in Hollywood. We we're streaming live for students in a different here's, classroom. Here's all the all the gear that we were using. Well, some of the gear. We got crazy with the GoPros. There's a bunch of them there. Where are the ones? Oh, some in there, right? They're all up there, and then there's some of the other ones. Plus whatever we have from the school. Um, oh yeah, so 8.30 in the morning for Tom in Europe. Wow. The technicality is great, but the audio is pretty lag and pretty bad. Oh, the audio? Hmm. What did this guy say? Uh, we're reading your, <laughs> your message. I'm... Dang. I am Night Owl. Austin. He's from uh, he's from Canada, and it's two p two a.m. for him. Whoa. And when there is a Jehu out there, I'm curious. <laughs> <laughs> Started following when watching the Samba eight six fifty videos. Oh yeah. Uh, you guys want to see the Samba? Let's go check it out. Here's our office. I wonder. This is where all the can I go dirty work happens. On my phone. And be like checking messages. Oh, see, probably. Because then we'd be able to be anywhere, right? Yeah. And be like talking to people and still see the screen. Yeah, that's true. Bam! Here we go. This thing is not very comfortable. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Without balance. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Anyways, here's a samba. Um, we are working on a video. <laughs> We're working on a video. We already shot it. Wait, I'm gonna tweet out. 
Oh yeah. Uh, except we haven't exactly finished editing. The noise, the noise is this factory out here in the works like three shifts. Um, but the video that we're working, this right here is our new project. That car right there. Um, Oh, see, let me push it here. Oh. All right, here we go, here we go. So what we did with this guy... Hey, how do you open this thing? Sorry, here. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, it does, huh? Yeah. So that's the other thing, I guess. We are tied to our connection. Yeah. So as you can see here, this guy no longer has a motor or transmission or front differential. We got rid of uh, everything in there. Uh, tank. Tank's up there. If you guys can see it. And uh, this wall here pretty much has a bunch of the stuff that we took out of there. All this stuff's like on eBay. We're selling all this stuff and we're recuperating some of that money. And what we're gonna do with that money is, of course, buy motors, electric motors, and then buy batteries. And so this guy, this Rover, is gonna be an electric car pretty soon. Uh, I'm gonna put two motors just like the ones that I have on the Samba uh, they're wound a little bit different um, so they have tons of torque it's gonna be about 300 pound feet of torque which is about equivalent what we took out of here so this is going to be a very nice a bunch of ideas here um, we might even be able to stream some of the work live, you know? That little device here that I'm using, uh, you can use pretty much any camera um, and stream out to you guys when we're working here, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know, some of the exciting parts when we're finally putting in the motors or taking it out uh, for a test drive for the first time, some of the stuff. I think we can do it. I think we're going to have to uh, ask our friends at Terradeck to let us use one of these little devices. Video Pro. Video? Video? Video. Video Pro. Check it out. We're, what, we're, use, we're streaming <laughs> on the phone and on the computer there. <laughs> Good stuff. It's got a couple of glitches, you know, here and there, but not not bad. It's been pretty much streaming pretty good. Look at that. That looks pretty good. Well, I'll accept it now. You know what? This would be a really good way to get comments on the channel. Because <laughs> yeah. you feel compelled to comment, right? I mean, yeah. Because uh, there's something happening. This is live. Yeah. Happening live here. Which other EV channel does this for you guys? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. He didn't. They didn't try to do that, but it was, was, it? Oh, it was yes. boring. <laughs> it was boring. <laughs> Not that we're any more uh, entertaining or anything, but... Uh, at, least it's not t at least it's not three hours. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to be three hours here. We promise you. Um, check it out. Here's... Um, some of the leftover batteries. Um, I don't know if these are good for a car, but if they're not gonna be good for a car, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them up on the wall. 
yeah, put them up like, uh, you know, like hang them up in the wall, like a picture. And then I put this thing in front of it. I made this thing. It's like a piece of glass. And so I'm going to cover those with there. And, um, yeah, make my own power wall. Here's the other battery that you guys saw in the last episode. This thing performed pretty good for being a recycled uh, junk of batteries, you know. So, um, I think I have enough to do another one, which is for about 4 kilowatts. So, I could probably do about 8 kilowatts, um, which is nice. And then, here, we're kind of messing around with the... Uh, Um, with the dashboard, the old instrumentation, you know. I got this guy running, which is the gas gauge with my system on the Samba. So we're going to get the same kind of system for that guy. And we're going to be able to see the amount of battery. Um, speedometer. We're, I'm just going to use a speed HUD speedometer um, and put it in here. Um, this guy, I don't know what to do with this because this is pretty much useless. We, you won't be, you don't need to see the RPMs on this car because it's going to be a direct drive, which means that it doesn't have a transmission, so the motors go straight to the shaft, to the differential. Um, you can't really, you know, it's like, Whatever they're doing, that's what they're doing. Here, I have some more batteries. Um, I've been buying... So eventually, we're going to... Eventually, I'm going to make a battery big enough to drive the Samba purely on recycle laptops uh, cell batteries so that's the aim someday anyways uh, as you can see it's dark it's late so I'm just gonna turn the lights off and come back inside oh he said go into the restroom and show me your setup the restroom yeah, well, in the mirror. Oh, in the mirror. Andrew from Saturday is checking it out. Oh, is he? <laughs> okay, let's check it out. Check it out. Yeah. This is not the best setup. I kind of threw it kind of quickly in there, but... Um, oh, wait a minute. Let me turn the camera to its size. And then you can kind of see it in there. Yeah, what does that look like? Yeah, AC 51s, but with a uh, 96. Uh, made for for uh, the Video Pro. It, it's almost the same size and it matches that hole that you guys got through there. I just happen to have a quarter 20 hole on my battery to attach it and so the little rubber feet kind of works out too and so it doesn't scratch either one of the boxes. It just feels really good when you tighten that knob, that knob there. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty compact. You totally see me doing some events this way. Okay, let's check it out. We can probably move this one a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Eric says, how long can you shoot before you get tired? Oh, how long? Well, if, if we... Well, oh, man, if you get these, uh, this shoulder rig balanced correctly, 
I can shoot all day. I remember um, running in Austin for a couple of days with the rig. And, you know, I'm pretty wimpy. I don't do exercise. And, um, and I can handle it, no problem. <laughs> so if I can do this for all day, for a couple of days without, you know, working, uh, working out, anyone can do it. The, the trick is just to get it. Um, so that you're not using any more strength and, you, you know, your posture is not weird and stuff like that. If you, if you get it, if you get it where you need it to be, you can run around all day. And that's what these, uh, shoulder rigs are good for, you know. Um, if you're in big production and you gotta carry a bunch of stuff, you know, like batteries and, you know, uh, transmitters and all that nonsense then yeah this is what they're good for if you also need to run all day if you're covering like events and stuff uh, what did we do we did the NASCAR races and we had a couple of these rigs running around um, with this yeah. little camera it's light and so it makes a huge difference but I mean it doesn't matter how light your camera is after a few hours right <laughs> continuous use Anything gets starts feeling heavy, you know, and so that's where these rigs really help. Um, so yeah, that's what it is. Maybe show this box and then talk about last week's road shoot. The road shoot. We shoot. We shot for road. Road is this company that makes some pretty cool uh, products. They make a bunch of audio stuff. Here are a bunch of little microphones the coolest ones that they make of course are the uh, camera top microphones like these ones it's a little bit dark let me see let me see if I can make it brighter uh, where is the thing right here I saw there we go let's see so Rode uh, make these little guys and those you put them on top of your camera because if you guys all know some of these little cameras the the built-in mics they, they suck um, and so in order to get decent sound you gotta use well a decent mic and Rode started making some very very cool mics early in the day they were like this this is one. Well, these guys were great. I mean, we ran around with these guys forever in the early days. We still do. <laughs> yeah, look at this guy. This is a survivor. But as you can see, these are like big compared to the new ones. And then I'm sure everyone that's used these is aware of like the weird mount that just kind of goes off to the side and it's just kind of flimsy. Yeah, they put these little uh, rubber bands to as shock absorbents, yeah, so that you don't you don't hear all the shock on the camera and stuff. And so they were like off to the side, and so the balance was kind of weird. But you would put it off, you put up with it because the sound was you know so much better. And so, but with the new mounts, they did great. These are really good. They're really sturdy. They're so much smaller. And they sound great. So, yeah, this is the new version. And I think they have an even newer version mount. But they sent us these, so we're still testing these out. Yeah. So far, so good. Yeah, this is good, good stuff. We also have, um, of course, once you start getting into, like, other types of production, then you start miking up like your host or your actors and stuff and these come into place like the, these are wireless transmitters so they're lavaliers those are the ones you tape um, underneath the shirt or you clip them on your you know tie or on your shirt and stuff and so we're using these 
and they were pretty good. The, these are really easy to set up. You kind of just turn them on, and then you tell it what channel you want, and then um, they kind of do everything else for you. Um, and so they're pretty cool. They're pretty... They didn't really... They worked out really, really good for us. Um, we had two of these channels. We had a bunch of mics running on this last episode, uh, last shot, last shoot that we did. Um, we what, we had six channels, seven channels or something running? We had, uh, I think, five channels. Five channels running. Yeah, we had two labs and the two main speakers. Um, and then we had the on-camera mics going. Uh, we had an overhead shotgun that was kind of p uh, pointing towards the area where the main speaker was most of the time. And then we had these two ambients just kind of catching the whole room. There are these condenser mics that worked out great. Uh, so this was like a three-hour shoot, and it was it was pretty hectic. It was one of the most technical shoots we've done, uh, but it was one of our favorites because it was so technical. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, part of the sh gear that we used, along with all the cameras. It was like seven GoPros and three DSLRs. Yeah. Three DSLRs, and we were uh, streaming out live. Yeah, that was one of the best parts, I think. <laughs> to get a chance to try some of the new Teradek gear. Yeah. <laughs> I guess people are not doing anything. Well, it's different <laughs> times everywhere. Right? It's so, different times everywhere. So, so who's, who's the farthest? I mean, we're in California, so who's... Uh, as far as miles go... Here, <laughs> it's so what do you guys edit on? Uh, I actually prefer Final Cut. I'm just so used to uh, Final Cut since since it came out. I kind of was forced to use it on a project that um, since it was so new, we did this one shoot in Vegas where it was like we were shooting all day and then we had to edit the same day. And just because we it was like brand new. We had to, uh, we made it a point to edit on Final Cut and I had to learn it like that weekend. And I kind of just loved it since the beginning. So we tried it out, we liked it, and then we just never looked back. I never went back to Final Cut 7 and I've edited on Premiere as well, but somehow just, <laughs> I, I still like it, but I'm just so used to Final Cut X that I, I just I don't have to think about it I just it just flows really easily but I think Premiere would probably be the next thing if I had to for some reason leave Final Cut X let's see what else are people asking probably in the future you might want to receive the receiver in plain in plan view plain view Oh, maybe that's when you were out there, and I think you were. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If if you guys. Um... Well, the receiver in this case is just our wireless um... modem, a router. A, a router, yeah. It's not even in this suite. It's in the suite next door. So yeah, it's going through a few walls. Um, we gotta maybe put a repeater over here on this side or something. Andres talking about. Uh, Let's do some live builds and get to have tutorials. Yeah, that'd be great. We should do that for sure. Yeah. Um, what if you want to use it on a GoPro? Um, HDMI. So this thing works off of an HDMI. So yeah, you can definitely just put it off of a GoPro. Yeah. And take it on the go. It's pretty small pack and it's got a battery. So um, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, with the, there's an app that you can connect even iOS devices, so you can, oh, you can record stuff uh, with your phone or oh, your recording. iPad. Yeah, like you can use them as cameras oh, nice. and stream out. But you might not even need this. I think it's probably done with the app. Um, the cool thing about this little um, the thing bonding I think they called it bonding. Um, which, whereas where it uses a bunch of the different connections, so it'll use like a Wi-Fi connection, and it also use like a 4G connection or an LTE connection from a, uh, a, a wireless device, and it'll 
basically combine all those connections to spit out or to upload uh, really high quality um, video. Um, even, you know, when you're out mobile and you're running around. So that's what this is cool about this device here. Uh, I don't, I, I don't know if the the ones that is out there in the market right now does the same thing, but I think that that's what he, they said that it was new on this guy. And th I know this because I talked to the guy, I talked to Topher on Friday, and then um, earlier today, I kind of looked at the hashtag and I saw one of the videos from NAB that they were talking about it, and they were, it wasn't. I think that's when they announced it but it's pretty cool I like this little device yeah so far so good uh, we look forward to doing more stuff with it and hopefully we get a chance to use it again because we don't own one but you know yeah these guys over there at Teradek. these are this is a pre-production version uh, check it out for all of you guys out there uh, that follow me on the battery sites and stuff my my batteries experiments check it out 11.1 volts which means that um, you, said, you got it you described it wow <laughs> that's probably tough <laughs> oh really oh I guess I was paying attention oh look at this orders open in about eight hours oh this thing is going out they're about to start selling this thing yeah if you guys uh are interested in, in I mean this is gonna be great for yeah like st like us you know what I mean like that we have a little you know YouTube channel and we wanna uh, get some news out there to our followers really quick I mean what better way than to start streaming live um, and especially the high quality cameras the SLRs and the, the like um, even when you're out there on the on the go, I mean, you know, you can just use your mobile device to kind of stream stuff out. Uh, you can use uh, so the the cool thing is you can use several uh, devices, and therefore you can really get high quality stuff even when you're out there uh, running around. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool stuff. Definitely pretty excited about this little device. What's the 111? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's backwards. Here we go. 11 1. 11 volts. Wait, isn't that what I said? 11. Uh... Yeah, 11. Oh, yeah, so 11 volts, right? It's It's a light bulb. Per second. Is that That's, our transfer data? I don't know. Is that our transfer data? That's a Teradek question. Yeah, that's a Teradek question. So, su supposedly we are... 1080p. 1080p, right? So, this is full HD going out into the web. Um, and so yeah, it's, that's probably the transfer rate. It's uh, six point two what mega megabits per second. Uh, meg yeah, megabits. Yeah. So I wonder if we wanted to like go live, but you do you know do it just on a phone, like if you're you know in the city or whatever. We don't have an actual strong internet signal like this. How would that work? Would you be able to just do it right off of your phone? Yeah, you you set your phone as a hotspot. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, or a couple of phones. I as wonder. Hot spots. <laughs> Six point two megabits. Your ISP is going to have a word with you. Uh, we have files here. I guess I don't have to write it. <laughs> I'm so used to responding through typing uh, oh yeah we have files so is that files. is that a lot of bandwidth going out uh, 
Yeah. Yeah, but I don't... Maxing out our connection here? It might be, yeah. <laughs> what is the setup called? The live streaming setup with the two boxes. I guess go back over there and someone probably knew. So this is a new Teradek Video Pro box, which is so going to go uh, out video, on sale in about eight hours, apparently. So. Video from Teradek. And then the box on the bottom is just one of our batteries that we that we do and sell on jack35.com. Um... This is this is a battery that is made for like DSLR um, rigs and stuff. So it's it's just a big block of aluminum and the battery's in there and it's got a USB port so that you can charge your <laughs> iPhone and stuff. But it's got a bunch of quarter twenty holes so that you can attach um, you know, industry standard <laughs> everything. Um, megapixels is the camera. Um I don't... It's 14. Like, oh, 14. Yeah. That's... Really, yeah, we're always on video mode. Yeah. I rarely ever take pictures, and I... But if I take pictures, I usually go on the Canon, which is like 20... What is it? 20... 23. 23 megapixel. Yeah. Um, no, but this camera, it's actually pretty powerful. It, it shoots in 4K, um, which is, uh, you know, pretty cool. It's 4,000 pixels. Yeah. And uh, it's got a ton of great video features. That's one of the reasons why we like it. Uh, when we were at NEB, we asked Canon, like, when they were going to offer, you know, peaking or some of the other, like, video features. And Canon, because they have, you know, they're pushing their video uh, line their their video cameras. It's like they'll never add any of the video features on their cameras, but Panasonic did. You know, so we we definitely like that about Panasonic's. Even Vlog. Wow! <laughs> shut up about Vlog. <laughs> people are people are even, people get mad when they hear v, Vlog now because it's a myth. <laughs> the GH4R is coming out. That's what the rumors are. It's coming out tomorrow. It's coming out tomorrow. tomorrow is oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Tomorrow, big announcement from Panasonic. It might be <laughs> <laughs> or Two years now. It doesn't matter. This camera, it's awesome as is. Um, it's super small. It's, it's, I think it's now it's retailing for like $1,300. Um, it, the, the lenses are small and light, and you can pretty much use any other lens in here with adapters. Uh, we even have an adapter that makes your lenses better. Like, it makes them uh, faster, so it gives you, you know, more stops. So that's uh, the uh, Metabone Speed Booster. Um... So we ended up getting one of these. That was one of the only reasons I was able to uh, camera. I mean, like, we have a whole full set of, you know, Canon glass. So the only way that we can switch over is if we were able to use an adapter like this. So as soon as this adapter came out, I think, is when we got our second GH4. Um, 4 to 70, 2.8, it makes it into a 2.0, an f2.0. So you actually gain some, you know, speed on your lenses with the speed booster. And um, it's been great so far. I love it. Um, I, it also um, works with the image stabilizers on these lenses. The ones that have it. Not this one, but the ones that have image stabilizer. Um, and just recently, the latest update, which didn't include the... Uh, the V log, <laughs> and everyone was expecting. Oh, the camera firmware. Yeah, the camera firmware that came out. Um, it also made it so that it works with um, autofocus, so you can use your um, Canon lenses with autofocus as well. So that's some of the latest updates that they just released, that we just recently update, updated. Actually. So it's new for us. It's not that new for Panasonic users. Yeah, we're kind of late on this. But we had a bunch of Canon cameras that we were shooting. We 
We thought we were happy. <laughs> I'm deadly. Until we tried other stuff. <laughs> yes. And then, uh, check it out. Now it's 11 volts. It's going down. It's going down. It's using power. Oh, is this the thing that they put on it? Yeah, that's how we attached yeah. it over there. This thing is looks... Yeah. Oh, look at that. We used... So as you can see, that's the old battery that that uh, that we made back in the day, and we used to use. It had more ports. It had the, uh, the a, like a little set of lights that would tell you, you know, the state of charge. This one, for example, it's it's only got two lights, so you know it's about halfway, probably a little bit less. This new one. It's a little bit different format, different form factor. It only has a couple of these little um, plugs, the barrel plugs, and then the USB. We want to add the USB because everyone uses like an iPhone or everyone uses a... With their little batteries. Yeah, so... Alright, this thing's great. What, are, what else are we going to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about a trip? We can do a trip on the Samba next time, and uh, we can transmit life. I mean, it, it probably won't be 1080p uh, in full HD like we have now. It's just to yeah. How does that work? Can you actually mix this? Yeah, yeah. That's what it does. So it's, oh, it's, is that what you were it's called bonding. Yeah. It'll bond several signals into How one. How many phones do we need in order to get 6.2? <laughs> that's that's a terrific question. Terrific guys. Are you How guys... many phones do we need to bond <laughs> to to transmit HD on the go? Because that's unless it's this quality, we don't want to mess with it. <laughs> no, it's it'll be worth it. Um, yeah, but we need to get some YouTubers on this. Yeah. Right? We should hit up that one guy. What's his name? Oh, we just discover a guy in, from New York that uh, does a daily video. He's pretty good. What's his name? Let's see. Oh, he says uh, that you can bond up to four. Up to four phones. devices. And he says that you can get it with that. Oh, really? You could use thing, so you would only use what you need. I don't know what thing is, but uh, like T I N. Oh. T I N G. Thing. Okay. I don't know what thing is. Is that like some kind of web service that will let you use more bandwidth, or is that what? Is that what Albert is talking about? Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe you can explain. Um, oh man, my battery's gonna die oh, on really? the camera. All right. So let's see. Now we're gonna have to change the battery. Here, you need the battery. I think they're over here. This should be good to go. All right. Oh, yeah. Cell M V N O. It's probably yeah. It's probably like cell, you know, service. No memory card. Yeah, not recording. So it's crazy because the camera won't turn off. It's just not recording. You know, remember? Oh, I didn't see the settings. Of course, it doesn't say the settings. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't even turn it off. Maybe had I turned, had I turned it off. No, because it doesn't say You don't think so? Well, I don't think so. I mean, maybe, but I don't know. So let's see. Let me just change settings real quick. First thing was... I wonder if... It goes back to the same exact length. 
Oh, I don't know. Let's check it out. All right, let's see. It's been out for 10 seconds. But this thing does not... People have to refresh. Is that what they have to do? It's kind of cool. Well, I didn't know how to use this, but I was like, I thought it was just going to start streaming again. Uh -huh. Like, that would have been pretty cool. But it seemed like when you lose the signal here, well, you it need to go back to going live. Oh, I see. Well, because it did. I did see after I put the new battery on there. Oh, so maybe it would have worked. I, but I, since I pressed stuff, like it just probably we. I did something that cut it off because there were still like ten people. Oh, there's nine. And yeah. Now, oh, okay, they are. Okay, it just came back. I just clicked the window. No need to refresh. I see you now. Oh, okay. Oh, so we, yeah, I thought it was gonna be really cool that you just change the battery and then it just comes back and it keeps on streaming again. And I think it does do that. But I didn't know if it was gonna do it and I, we started pressing buttons and then I think it cut it off completely and then we brought it back. But either way, it's the same exact link, so if you like share the link and people found it and people are there or whatever then you don't have to like oh it's a new link again <laughs> you have to kind of yeah set it up again so that's a pretty cool thing i think the way that it's set up and the wrap looks pretty cool look at that oh that one doesn't have how come the delay is different on that guy look at that oh this one doesn't have very much delay at all Oh, but this is here within our thing. Oh, this is so, so this, this is, is talking to this directly. Yeah, this is going to the app, right? And then the app is the one that's like transmitting. Oh, really? So it's not this thing. No, it's not that. So that, I mean, that is connected to the web, right? To the to the Wi-Fi, and this is connected to the Wi-Fi, and then that's how they're communicating with each other. So this is almost instant. Like, see how there's. Yeah, a little delay. So for good. monitoring purposes, you can use this, and mm. it's pretty good. Maybe not for focus, but for monitoring, you know. Yeah. For your director or for whatever. Oh, um, that's cool. So yeah, there's very little lag on the actual app. I mean, you can everything that happens as it happens, you can kind of see it with the you know very small delay. When it goes out into YouTube. Yeah, I'd say. Then there's a pretty big delay. It's almost like 10 seconds or around there. Um, but either way, it's it's pretty cool because of the quality that you're getting. I think that's the biggest thing on this. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, I forgot what else we were saying. Oh, you're going to show him the, the new dude? Oh yeah, yeah. Like uh, Should we, him up and visit him and we found this him. guy just watching videos on YouTube. Casey, Casey Neistat. Um, he does uh, the daily blog and stuff, and he's here in, in L.A. because he was at the uh, VMAs yesterday. And anyways, he does some pretty cool uh videos where he's just walking around the streets of manhattan and he does this thing where he walks around with this camera in front of himself so you know he, he'll do this thing where, um he's just walking around talking to people you know he's on his bike he's in his little um um a skateboard i think he yeah so he yeah he's pretty cool um, it's funny when you like look at people's names yeah. on YouTube or on anything anywhere online, right? Yeah. Uh, 
It's because I'm like, oh, so bite me just said that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the guy from Canada, he was saying that uh, you can use the tack meter from earlier, whatever you were showing me with and you can use it to oh, that's, yeah, that's amp cool. meter. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess we could. Except that we, we're going to put a, uh, a screen. We're going to put a tablet that is going to have that, the amp meter. And it's going to have a graphical view of the Kind of like what you battery. have set up on the e-samba. Yeah, what I have on the samba. So that's going to be there. Um, but, but yeah, we, we should probably do something like that so that that... Uh, gauge is not just dead. Right, right. Because um, we don't. talking about the one on the. On the rover. On the rover. Right? Yeah. Oh, I see. That's true. We have co several conversations going on here, guys. I know. It's just, it's <laughs> video. All, it's all tech. Video talk. Um, um, I don't know what this other guy is talking about. Car talk. Uh, E-board. Oh, e Um. Hoverboards, they're calling them e boards. Hoverboard, which guy? Which and those those devices with the two wheels and stuff? Hoverboard? They're oh. calling them hoverboards, which is oh. they're not really hovering, they're not really. They I actually saw, uh, I actually watched the um, one of those what do they call those that website where you can learn to do things? Instructable, instructable. I saw an instructable how to build your own e, e board, like a e real hoverboard. Oh, like with the air, with the air, with yeah. the fan, and then yeah, oh. that was pretty good. That's a real e-board, not the that thing is wheels, you know. Like, it's got wheels. It's yeah, it's, it's it's like a mechanic uh, electric. Well, it's weird because the skateboard, but it's <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's not really a skateboard, you know. Like the wheels are it's like a Segway. It yeah, skateboard like. Segway. It's like a miniature Segway. Because the wheels are on your side of your legs, right? And you're standing in the middle of them and stuff. Um, skateboard's not really like that. But, yeah, this guy rides his skateboard. He rides his bike. He rides the new e-boards. Mini segways. And he's pretty good. He's He's got a... He's pretty talented because he's walking and it it's, looks so effortlessly and it looks... He's got a super wide angle lens, sort of like this one that I have on right here. And it just looks steady. I mean, it's... And the guy is pretty talented at editing, so... Yeah, I... You know, I'm trying to get inspired by fellow... <laughs> um, YouTubers. And so, yeah. It's cool when you find out... Find uh, YouTubers that are good at what they do. Yeah, that is true. Here's some so, of the uh, the projects that we're working on. Yeah, this is the road shoot that we did. So I'm kind of syncing up all of these different tracks. It's way too many that my computer is struggling to keep up. So I, I'm creating proxy. Right? I, I broke down and I'm like, all right, just create some proxy and then I'll come back to getting it all synced up. <laughs> I was hoping I didn't have to, but um, yeah, when you deal with multicam stuff, sometimes it's best yeah. to just do it. So look, that's, uh, what's that, four angles plus four, that's eight, plus these two. So that's ten different angles. Ten angles? Oh that's yeah. Crazy. Three DCLR7 GoPros. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to send this over to Road, and they're going to have fun <laughs> editing it. But at least it'll all be synced up for them. So, so yeah, it'll it'll be it'll be okay. It'll be a little bit easier for them to deal with. Yeah, these girls were playing uh, some pretty cool music. Um, they were pretty good, actually. Why do you say actually? Like if girls can't... Well, I mean, you, <laughs> let's, come on. I'm not saying girls. I'm just saying usually when you go to see a band that is not... You don't have to worry. Famous. Um, you your know. audience is mainly guys. So oh, yeah. I would agree. <laughs> you know girls. Girls. Um, no, but they were really good. They were... Uh, 
playing some Jimi Hendrix. They were playing um, a bunch of 70s yeah. classic rock and like not exactly.